Alright, sup nerds, so in this question, it's saying find the smallest positive integer solution for the following system of congruence. So we have x equals, or it's congruent to 21 mod 69, and then 28 mod 38. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to let x equal 38k plus 28. And I'll show you why we're picking the second equation instead of the first one in a second. So now we're gonna let we're gonna substitute this x for this x up here. So we're gonna set them equal to each other. So we get 38k plus 28 equals 21 mod 69. So now we need to get k by itself. So we get 38k is equal to 20 or just negative 7. And then mod 69. Okay, so now we need to see, okay, well, I have this 69, and I have this 38. So I like to have the larger number, like the mod, be the larger of the numbers than this 38. Because when you go to solve for this, I always forget what the method is called. It's just easier when you have a larger number here versus here. So 69 equals 38, and then I believe it's just times 1, and then plus 31. Then you carry down the 38. 38 equals 31 times 1 plus 7. And then now you carry the, down the 31 equals 7 times 4 plus 3. And you carry down the 7. 7 equals 3 times 2 plus 1. And then now finally we get 3 equals 1 times 3 plus 0. So what I did was... I just took this number, bring it down. The remainder, you bring it down. And then you bring down that, and you bring down this, you bring down that, bring down this. Basically, you're just bringing down the remainder. Like, that's literally all you're doing. And then you're, like, solving what the remainder equals. Like, like what multiplied by what gives you the remainder. And then time, or added to that. Like, so, like... This line, so 31 equals, so 7 times 4 is 28, what do you have left over? 3. So, since we got the 0, we look at the 1 with the 1. So we need to write 1 in terms of what we have in this row. So let's just call this one A, B, C, D, E. So we're going to start at D, because we don't start at the 1 with 0 in it. 1 equals 7 minus 3 times 2. And then now we go to, to C. So we look... And we say, okay, well, there's a 3 here. So we know that this is a 3 we need to replace. So we do 7 minus, and then parenthesis. So it's 31 times 7 times 4. And then this whole thing is going to be multiplied by that 2. So let's simplify this a bit before we continue. So we have 7 times 4, and then we have a 2 distributed to it. So it's going to be 8. And then, so here, so we'll do 7 minus 31 times or minus not times minus and then seven times eight and then this is here you write this actually so 31 times two minus seven times eight and this is all in parentheses so then now we get so we have seven here and we have another seven here so we know we're gonna have nine seven so seven times nine and then plus or minus, and then we have 231, so I'm going to do negative 2, and then 31. Now I can move to my next step, so I'm going to go to B. Well, I look at B, and I have a 7 here, and I see a 7 here. So I know I'm going to, let me actually use a different color. So if I have 7 here, 7 here, so now I'm going to just replace it. So I get 38 minus 31. And then I have this 9 times, and then I have plus and a negative 2 times 31. So I have this negative here as well. So this negative, that's not the pen. There we go. This negative here. So I know I'm going to add that 9. This 9, different color. Okay, so this 31, this 9, and this negative 2, and that 31. So 9 plus 2 is 11, so 
Now I'm going to have Yeah, 9 plus 2 is 11, so I'm going to get 11, and then times 31, negative 11 times 31, plus negative, did I make a mistake here? Okay, yeah, so that's right so far. Sorry, so, um, this gets, like, super annoying. So, yeah, 9, 10, 11, and then, uh, so 30, so it's gonna be 9 times that 38. Okay, so now we look and we see that we have a 31 up here. So this 31, and we have a 31 here, so we're gonna replace it. So it equals negative 11 and then 69 minus 38 and then plus 9 times 38. So here we get, so this is A now, well this one's A. So now we have um, negative 11 times 69 plus 20 and then 38. Okay, so now we ask ourselves, well, what number do I care about here? Well, if you look, we have 69 up here, we have 38 here. So we're going to look at the one that's on the left side. So we care about what's going to make this k a 1. So like, what you need to multiply by k to make it a 1. Well, so we just look at what's the coefficient in front of the 38, which is 20. So we can do, so 38 times k times 20 equals negative 7 times 20 and then mod 69 and then that gives us this is just going to be 1 because you're multiplying by the reciprocal k is congruent I can never remember if it's congruent or equal when you rewrite them so don't take my word for how these are written but in this case it's like the same thing I guess so negative 140 mod 69 so if you take out your calculator and you figure out how many times 69 goes into 140 and we need a one more one we need to go above 140 so 69 times 3 is 207 69 times 2 is 138 so we're getting 69 times 3 which is 207 so 207 and we need to figure out what the remainder from 140 is. So minus 140 is 67. So we know that K is 67 mod 69. And we know that because this is less, K is just 67. And then now if we go, and also this can be rewritten as um, 69. Let's just call it A minus 140 if I move this over so k equals and then that this a value we just said needs to be 3 so 69 times 3 minus 140 equals that 67 and then yeah okay so now that we have k we look back and we, we see our, our equation all the way up here. This x equals 38k plus 28. So we're going to plug it back in. So x equals 38. And we said it was 67 times 67 plus 28. So this is going to give us a really big number. 
plus 28, 2,574. And that is the answer to this question. So it's a lot of steps, but um, just keep your work really neat. Um, they asked for the smallest positive integer. So this is an answer. This 140 is an answer. However, they wanted the positive number and they wanted the smallest positive number. So to get that, all you have to do is, I would just use this equation right here, this k equals 69a minus 140. And then you just pick a value for a that's going to make it greater than this 140 that causes this answer to be positive. And that's how you do this question.